हे गायज आम सुष्मिता वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल विच इज़ कैड एसेंशियल इंजीन डिजाइन बाई मी क्लिक द सब्सक्राइब बटन टू गेट ऑल द अपडेटेड वीडियोज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अबाउट द एनालिस ऑफ इस लाइव विद अ पॉइंट लोड बाई यूजिंग स्टेट प्रो वी आई सॉफ्टवेयर सो लेट स्टार्टिंग विद अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट टिक ऑन स्पेस स्पेसिफाई द नेम एंड लोकेशन देन क्लिक ऑन फिनिश सो हेयर इज अ न्यू मॉडल स्पेस Now we have to draw the slab layout out with the help of coordinate method as well as the snap node method and also we can create the model with the help of autocad which i have already discussed in my previous video here i have used coordinate method to create the layout here i have insert the first node 000 and the second node 4.500 and the third node is 00 4.5 And the fourth node is 4.50, 4.5. Click on the Add Bin cursor and join all the node. Then you can copy this node and create the another part, or you can use the translation and repeat. Copy the length along x-axis and z-axis. Then select this side, go to translation and repeat, and then specify the number of steps. Click on Link Steps. Then click on OK. Then again, select this side. Go to transition and repeat, and specify the number of steps and step spacing. And click on link steps. Then click on OK. Then use the translation and repeat to create the another part of the layout. After that, we have to insert the particular node where the point load will be act. After that, we have to create the support and assign the support. If we use this tool to create the mesh, then the node will be not merged. so we have to use the parametric model click on geometry then go to parametric model then click on add specify any name then click on okay select the node one by one from clockwise direction then specify the target element size which will be 0.5 or 0.5 meter then the type will be standard Here we can see the node is merged with the mesh. Then we have to define the section property. Click on property then click on define. Choose the rectangular section. Specify the value of yd and zd. then click on assign to view and assign and now we have to assign the section property of the slab so click on property see the slab thickness is 0.125 then assign to view okay section property has been assigned so here is the 3d view of the diagram 
finally we have to assign the load click on load case details then specify the loading type the first load will be dead load specify any title and the second load will be live load and specify any title then click on add then click on dead load then add then click on self width self width will be added in the dead load and now in the live load we have to assign the point load so the point load is 15 kN so the value of FY will be minus 15 similarly we have to input the second load so the next load is 20 kN so we have to input the value of FY will be minus 20 and now to assign the load we have to select the particular node which is 20 and 21 check the node then go to assign to edit list and specify the node number here is the load change the scale go to view then structure diagrams then scale then click on scale then change the point force say it is 0.5 or 5 then click on ok After assigning the load, we have to analyze this structure. So, analyze is print, all, add, and close. Then go to analyze, run analysis, and yes. Then check there is any error. go to post processing to view the plate stress click on max absolute apply ok This way you can analyze any slab with a point load. Thanks for watching this video.